Well, I'm just glad I'm on the good side of history. Not a perfect person, but I'm not out to F over little people. I'm not out to trip, you know, autistic kids. Saw that. I was out shopping with my daughter this weekend. I actually saw some kids being mean and autistic kid. Tried to trip him. I felt like going over and saying something to him, but that'd be bullying. All right. Yes, there's attempt to censor us because we'd already been shadow banned on Google and YouTube and other platforms like Apple didn't do anything other than blow up in their face and send us the highest traffic we've ever had times five last week. It's still huge at newswars.com and infowars.com and make our apps number one on the internet and everything else. But they hit us with something just like they hit us last year, getting rid of ad roll when it was bringing in $4 million after costs and advertising and product, a couple million dollars to fund things. I mean, that was basically the discretionary budget to expand. And basic TV switchers that work right are like $50,000, you know. I mean, the equipment's expensive. Crew, everything, insurance, everything we do here. We couldn't have an operation one-third as big in New York or L.A. The expense is lower here. But Credio banned us. They said, oh, our general counsel said you violated our terms. Folks, we sell water filters, air filters, and supplements. We never ran ads with the T-shirts, any of it. Because we tried years ago as Obama as a joker on Apple's platform, and they banned us, and they said that's racist. We're also selling a George Bush Joker shirt. It's anything they want to say is bad, is banned. We always knew it was coming. They've done it in Europe. It's here. I told you a few years ago, we're a few years away from being arrested. If you criticize radical Islam, it's here. <coughs> Vimeo, some dying third-rate video streaming service, just as some backup who approached us years ago to put stuff on their platform, sent us a letter, and I'm going to cover it next segment, and said... You said there's Muslim training camps. That's not true. And you made fun of Chinese people. Uh, what, the ones getting killed in the death camps? Or committing suicide at Tim Cook's factories? And it's this new American celebration of getting me off the air. Drudge has an excellent article linked. Rise of corporate censorship that I forgot to read this weekend. I forgot to read it on air. I did read it. From Spiked, we'll talk about going against the grain, you know, one of thousands of articles pro-ban Alex Jones, one just saying this is dangerous. Please print that for me again. You'd think Noam Chomsky coming out Saturday and saying this is very, very dangerous, me being banned by monopolies, you think that'd be anywhere? Zero. But good for Noam Chomsky. At least he stands up for what he believes in. He said he disagrees with me. You mean the straw man they built about me? So here's the big issue and the reason I'm going to open the phones up on this one issue. Do you agree with me that all this massive censorship would be used against others? And, of course, it's now happened. Do you agree they're getting ready for civil unrest, which they're already doing, and are going to make their move on Trump in the midterms? And is it election fraud? Is it, is it mass shootings of their facilities? Is it false flags against CNN or against Google or Apple or something? To then be blamed on us? And then I've been silenced on most platforms, so I can't even speak out. And so it's been legitimized what they're going to say about me. Because let me tell you, I figured out their tricks. And they can wind up some mentally ill people and just not stop them. And then direct them where they want. The same folks that lie about WMDs. The same people that lie about the Arab Spring and fund that whole thing. <clears throat> These people are monsters. And they mean business. So... We need folks to take action and understand right now we're winning because you spread the articles, you spread the videos, you went and got the apps, you went and signed up for the free podcast so we can get to you no matter what they try. The free email, infowars.com forward slash email to get news alerts and videos they're trying to keep from people getting. Infowars.com forward slash newsletter. They took down WebChimp, well, the big company that people use to follow all the email rules. They're doing it to us on so many fronts and now... They took us off Vimeo, 
saying we're bad to Chinese people because we don't we don't kill them in slave factories or report them like app like Google does so they can be arrested. I mean that's in mainstream news, but almost no one picks it up though. We're saying see 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 this is the sellout. This is globalism, and they don't want that catching hold like it did in the election or like it's done worldwide. They've tracked it back to this broadcast. And yes, this is the broadcast, along with Drudge, that sent us over the top. But I almost don't want to say that. It's not like I'm beating my chest here. I'm saying, look, we did the fighting. We took action. We're taking the heat. We're your champions. And they're trying to destroy us right now. People say, well, why don't you roll over? I'm more afraid of what happens if we roll over and they take over than what happens to me if I fight them, but we still beat them. Get that? I care about my children. I care about you. I I'm not a sociopath like Tim Cook, probably a psychopath. Or Zuckerberg, I'm going to read you some quotes when we come back, of him saying worse stuff than calling his users that's, that's, that trust him dumb Fs. He says, all you other websites, you're going to die, and I'm going to hold your hand like hospice when you die. And I guess if your big monopoly can't kill me, you got to go pure monopoly and go after my sponsors and my advertising platform where I can't go in the marketplace and sell multivitamin fruit punch for adults and children. Oh, my God, I'm so evil. Or fish oil, the highest quality. Or air filtration or water filtration. So listen, belly up, folks, um, to the bar here. And, and, and I know you've been buying the products, but commit. Sign up for AutoShip every 15 days, every month, every two months, every three months, every nine months. You can sign up, and it just auto ships and goes through, and then that'll let me budget and know what I need to do. I got to make up on top of all the other lawsuits and everything else, like $5 million uh, here, here pretty quick to know if we can go to our next launch phase or whether I have to announce they're beating us. <laughs>